Welcome to Air Force Special Operations, code name Nightfall. A VR Welcome. experience inspired by some of the most elite, highly trained forces in the world. Every recruit there you has go. complete high altitude low opening jump from Let's see if you got what it takes. Okay. So basically, Air Force Special Ops Nightfall. It's um, been put out by the uh, US Air Force. It's kind of a recruitment tool, really. But if you've got a US PlayStation account, you can download this for free. Um, it's obviously intended for those who are thinking of uh, a, a career in the US Air Force. Uh, to encourage people to sign up um, but for everybody else who isn't thinking of well it may be to encourage them as well but anybody else who really isn't thinking of signing up it can be a fun experience anyway to uh, try out something like this so let's see what the experience is like we're gonna go into Please a new select. game male or female well I'm gonna be male because you I got it am. And I've got, I've got a nice uh, fan down below Please me at the moment, just um, coming up towards me because it's really hot today and uh, it, it should work for the whole like skydiving bit. To change the outcome of a bat. So obviously because it's done with uh, front line. the military, it's, um, the it's going to have the details. They're going to want to put the details in there. so. Please Let's select continue. a jump plane. But we're training. Please select a jump. It's our first one, so out and getting home. Jump one. Jumping out and getting home. Okay, so what we're going to do is 7,500 foot. Parachute opening, 4,000 foot. So low altitude, low open. Okay, let's do it. Good start. So this is how you're going to do. So you're going to be prepared. That holding is press and hold, and then you pull away when those lines are meeting or as close to so that you, you pull the chute, basically. So that's that's how we're gonna do that. But uh, uh, we've got a tablet and we can go through. So that's the same thing of what it was saying. Listen up team. Welcome to Halo jump out jump plane like that. Today you'll learn how to jump. Follow Open the jump the master. And glide down to the drop Tuck zone. arms in, extend. Jump so, hold position, move them in to uh, speed up. And, provide additional tips and, feedback on the way down. and then you're going to push out to Open speed up. Feet and you'll be fine. Listen for directions at the end of the thing. Yeah, open parachute when lines meet. Parachute to the drop zone, so left, pull on the right, tug both to uh, hold back on the brakes. Okay, and we want to just get into the middle, so ideal. So we want to be slowing our speed down at the end, so that's going to be pulling on both. Okay. We can continue. Roger, Guardian 1 1. Jumpers, check ripcord pull. We're good. 30 seconds. Affirmative, Guardian 1 1. Air the jump are good. Which we like. Three! Here we go. Five, four, four, four. We ready? Let's go. Woo. Everyone's out. Hang tight and stay with me now. Oh. So you can't actually move your head down all the way, which is uh, a little bit. Silver. Solid jump, Airman. Watch your altitude. You're dropping too far back. Move your arms in towards your body to speed up. 4,500 feet. Get ready to deploy the chute. Pull, pull, pull! Oopsie. Get a grip on a those toggles, that. Airman. Well done, Airman. Good to see you right on point. I, was, I wasn't right on point. 
He's lying. He's being generous. I I messed up there. I wasn't prepared. He should be chewing me out on the ground for that. Great job. Keep it tight. Nice view. Oh yeah. There he is. Now we're we're in close. This is pretty damn cool. Have to say, this is pretty damn cool. You're doing great. Just stay focused. We're pretty close to him, you know. We want to be uh, a little bit off. I mean, he's in the lead, but. River down there. I'm gonna be coming around to the left. Oh, that's cool. Hey, we got a guy on the left. Is there one on the right? Let's slow that down a little. He's further Good. back. You're showing potential. So we got our, our leader here. Guy on the left Good. of us, You're another three potential. back there. Yeah, so there's three behind us as well. So we're right in behind our leader. Keep your eyes peeled for the drop zone. The gates bit is um, pretty easy so far. Well this is done, the first Evan. bit, so. Good to see you right on point. But I should be chewed out for. for for messing my um, pole. Perfect. Top notch parachutist. There's a. That was the last gate. Aim for the center of the drop zone and manage your ground speed for touchdown. You want to be slowing this down. too bad bronze I was a bit off there I came slowed down too Any much at the airmen. beginning I think let's see if you made the grade your ratings for each phase of the jump are silver perfect bronze your final rating is good so I'm only good improvements needed should we retry we're gonna continue on we're gonna continue on my ratings good you know that's okay so we've got our air speed ground speed the goggles were a bit low so you have to look with your eyes more than than your head on that one um gates and a navigator so we get to move on free fall movement jump to free fall movement so we're doing uh 15,000 foot 4,000 uh open so we are a little bit higher again okay Let's see if you've got what it takes. Okay. So, we're going to go into actual free full movement. This is going to be cool. I do like this. I mean, I haven't actually done a parachute jump. It's one of those things that I've always wanted to do. I mean, I've jumped off cliffs. And, and all sorts like that, but I've never done a parachute jump or things like that. So, okay, so okay, jump out plane, and I jump off, open the parachute at 4,000 feet, and you'll do fine.
Okay. That's the same deal. Only difference here was now we have on there as well, so you can see something there. Continue. Copy, Guardian 1-1. One, one. Jumpers, check altimeter and power on. Altimeter is on. Roger, Guardian 1-1. One, one. 3,000 is danger, we want 4,000. Let's get it. Come on. Okay, see, just stay with me. Silver, solid jump, Airman. Oh, I missed. Oh, okay. This is weird. Everything now oh, that's really annoying. See, it sort of like wants me to follow that through, but um, you really have to look with your uh, eyes more than your head in this one. I'm not doing so well this time. Keep an eye on your So, I didn't do too good there. I, I, I feel bad about that. I need to redo that one. I'm going through the same place uh, in terms of this bit of the jump, basically. So, we're from the same airbase, I'd say. It's a pretty mountainous region. So, going straight down, my gates were not good. Um, need to look more with... Uh, more with my eyes and less with my head on that one. Basically, every time that you look directly down when you're in the free form, it gives you that restart thing happening. Which is not so good. You know, I kind of want to do a bit of a more extreme thing there. Hey, that's cool. It's a nice gentle ride at the minute. I could definitely, I, I definitely think this is pretty damn cool actually. Especially for something that's a free experience. Uh, you definitely can't knock it. And I mean, I can see where, you know, anybody who likes a bit of adrenaline and stuff like that, it's going to be appealing. So the, the impression of the landscape, I mean, the gates coming up to me is, is you You're know. getting too close. Slow down and drop back to position. Take a look around to locate the drop zone. There's the drop zone. See my drop zone. You got the shadows there. Perfect. Top notch parachutist. You're 
tailgating. Pull the toggles to break and fall back to a safe distance. That's all the gates. Aim for the center of the drop zone and watch your speed to avoid a pancake landing. No. Jump scares. Come on, Sky Shark. See, I keep on misjudging that. Um, At ease, Airman. Let's see if you made the grade. I want to retry that one because I did terrible. Before I do, I need a bit of a drink because it's really hot. I think it's cool that I've got the fan there, though. Okay, that's uh da da da. JPAD three two, this is Guardian one one, three minutes. We'll skip that bit. Affirmative, Guardian one one. One minute. Copy, Guardian one one. Jumper. Let's go, Check sir. We'll do it this Power time. On. What happened? Okay. Oh, power on. Night vision. Restart. Okay, so I needed to do my altimeter. So now it's going through more of the steps. I was thinking, that's check parachute. It wasn't. And I don't need to worry about. I, I'm I'm doing a couple of things wrong there. I'm waiting until that's all done. Three two. This is Guardian one one. Three minutes. So we'll skip that. One minute. Copy. Guardian one one. Jumpers, check altimeter and power on. My altimeter's on. Thirty seconds. Affirmative. Guardian one one. Airmen to jump station. Head. Three. Two. Here we go. Everyone's so down. Hang tight eyes. and stay with me now. Silver, solid jump, Airman. do this. Getting the balance right is actually pretty damn hard. keep on coming into the uh, actual drop zone too quick as well but then I need to try and slow down at the end and my ground speed is is a problem he's gonna be on me for being too close soon Where are you going? Uh, if you get any further. 
further away, you'll have to start over. Okay, I'll speed up. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, so... Basically, the one that was on my... Where are you? Mm, I've lost visual! I'm coming, I'm coming. I slowed down too much, what can I say? Getting chewed out already. Seems I would not make such a good spec op. Just a shame I like this bit. Kind of calm this bit, you know. I mean, it's still difficult though. I mean, you've got precision to think about here. This bit's kind of easy. Like, see, I, I, I've gone straight through. There Keep your eyes peeled for the drop zone. It's down there. You can see it right there. I want to be uh, quite close on this guy's tail. Hundred foot. Perfect. Top notch parachutist. You're tailgating. Pull the toggles to break and fall back to a safe distance. That's all the gate. Aim for the center of the drop zone and watch your speed to avoid a pancake landing. You're too close. Break just enough to drop back to a safe distance. Perfect. That he says too close. That was, all the that, way. that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I felt I did well there. Too close. At ease, Airman. Let's see if you made the grade. You're ready okay. for each phase of the jump, R. Silver. Silver. Perfect. Perfect. Hey. Your final hey. rating is great. Oh, I got a great that time. Maybe I am cut out for spec ops. <laughs> I doubt it. You have, you know, I'm out of shape. But this is this is good. Let's see what we got. So free fall movement. Turn. Slide. Forwards. Backwards. So now it's getting more complicated. I like this. This is really nicely thought out. But, you know, come on, it's the army. They've got to know what they're doing with simulations and training people. So, jump three, free fall sliding. Okay, this is, this should be good. So, basically, I think, uh, slide. I, I wish the, the graphics, because they're only showing from above, so I don't know what the person's doing with their hands exactly so I can just move one left right like that I can move out and back JPAD 3-2 this is Guardian 1-1 one, one. three minutes to go time affirmative Guardian 1-1 one, one. congratulations on making it this far the purpose of this training jump is to teach you how to move sideways during free fall sliding as we call it to slide left Tuck your left arm in and extend your right arm out in front of you. See, now to this makes right, better sense. Tuck your right arm in and extend your left arm out in front of you. Check your EJS for step-by-step -step directions and to recap okay. what you've learned so far. Stay with me. Open the parachute at 4,000 feet and you'll do great. Yes, sir. 1-1, one, one. Affirmative, Guardian 1-1. One, one. Jumper! Check ripcord pull. Thirty seconds. Affirmative, Guardian One One. Airmen to jump stations. Ready for jump set. Three, two, one, go! 
He always jumps out backwards. Everyone's out. Hang tight and stay with me now. Perfect. That jump was a slam dunk all the way. Really do you have to look with your eyes in this bit. When it gets closer, you, you can't always tell whether you're doing, can it get it in the right place or not. Watch your altitude! There we go. I'm back in position. There we go. That was cool. That was a lot harder. That was a lot harder. But that is really cool. Though, like I say, you, you can't put your head full on down. And I'm like, why can't I put my head further down? Because I want to be able to see where that target is and judging the distance on the target and you're in the free fall. That is like seriously difficult. Especially now with sliding as well. I'm like... Damn, you know? It's a nice... It's quite a straight glide path, this one, really, basically. So, you know, we've got some nice views. It'd be interesting if they also did this, um, like, different locations. And then maybe, like, because it says Nightfall, maybe the last jump is a Halo at Nightfall. Here we go, now they're throwing a little bit more of a, a curveball at me. We don't want to get too close on to uh, his tail there. Still keep up, but not not too much. There we go. Nice and easy. Hey, that guy's already ahead of me. Let's just keep it in there nice and tight. Next one's back over here. Okay. I see it. Right down there. We're gonna get too close there. We're like 15. Okay. I think we might need to be swinging around some way in this one. No, the 14 gates. Oh yeah, no, because I missed some load on the way down on the free fall section. I wish I was better at the free fall. Perfect! Top notch parachutist! That was the last gate. Aim for the center of the drop zone and manage your ground speed for touchdown. Yeah, just 
I was I keep on thinking about the um, speed Eddie coming in. Fairman. Let's see, Let's see how we grade. did. Your ratings for each phase of the jump are perfect, silver, perfect, silver. Your final rating is great. Nice. Thank you, sir. Let's continue on, sir. I want more. <laughs> Locate NVG to your right. Light vision goggles. Like I said, it's, I love the, the illustration, actually. That's really cool. So, are we going to do, so free full turning, and then the last one has got to be night time. Right, I'm going to have a quick drink again. Free fall turning. Four. Free fall turning. Seventeen thousand foot. Seventeen thousand five hundred even. So okay, let's do it. High. Free fall turning. So. This one, I think, is about the height, so I'm actually going to do a full like that. JPAD 3-2, this is Guardian 1-1, three minutes to jump spot. Roger, Guardian 1-1. Check altometer. Well done. Only 25% of recruits pass training, and this is the penultimate training jump. The next cool. thing you need to learn is how to turn, so you can use turning and sliding to maneuver yourself during free fall. To turn left, lower your left arm and raise your right arm. To turn right, lower your right arm and raise your left arm. So we're gonna do that movement, that movement. Directions covering the entire jump. And get ready to Sliding, down. we do this. Stay with me. Pull at 4, feet. Speed up, we and do this. Slow down, down, we do this. Yeah? So we're getting more and more things, sliding left and right, turning left and right. Open parachutes. Yeah, drop zone. Eyes on, reduce speed and avoid turning. So, I turn too much at the end. Let's go. Roger, Guardian 1 1. Jumpers, check altimeter and power on. Affirmative, Guardian 1 1. Airmen to jump stations. You only get one of the checks, but... I was eager. You see it didn't com totally complete, but it didn't go the other way, so... Okay, team. Just stay with me. Perfect. That jump was a slam dunk all the way. that thing with my uh, eyes again. I keep on doing this. Let's get this. I want this one. Come on, I want this one. No. Watch your no. altitude. Five thousand feet. Keep an eye on your altitude. Forty-five hundred feet. 
Get ready to deploy the shoot! Oh, silver! Peace is free fall! Grab the toggle, oh. airman! So I'm way off on that. Way out of position. Get back yeah, on my I get it. I'm coming. This jump is I'm going to be back scrubbed. In. This jump is going to be scrubbed? How can it be scrubbed? We're already jumped. It could be a rubbish jump, but, you know, scrubbed? Really? You're going to cut the cords on my parachute and let me drop? I don't think so. I could watch out at this rate with that that turning stuff is difficult. I'm trying to figure out where where I'm supposed to be. Have my hands there. It was like whoa. That guy should really be getting chewed out. He's so close, right above him. Don't you think? But that was that was difficult. Trying to get through those boxes on the free fall is just hard because. You can't actually look all the way down because it does that thing. I mean, here, I can look down and I can look around, whatever. But when you're in the free fall, it doesn't want you to look down. Which is like, what? Doesn't, doesn't quite make sense to me. So I can't actually look down at the target that I'm trying to aim for. Because it, it goes into a menu. It goes into that reset menu thing. Which is really annoying. So that's my one criticism at the moment. I can't actually look down towards the target that I'm trying to aim for. Also, um, this this LCD bit, um, it stays focused in a direction that's not the direction I'm looking on. I thought that would actually be like uh, different from that. Hey. Did I get a green on that instead of a full on? Take a look around to locate the drop zone. I see it. We've done a simple route on this one again. So this was the, the very, very simple route. He's going to start chewing me up for getting in so close to him, but I think. To get into the centre part on the other bit, you need to be as close as you dare to him. Perfect! Top notch parachutist! You're tailgating! Okay. Pull the toggles to break and fall back to a safe distance. That's all the gates. Aim for the centre of the drop zone and watch your speed to avoid a pancake landing. Too close. Break just enough to drop back to a safe distance. Go! Great jump, airman! See? If you're in close to him, and he's telling you to, to back off, At ease, that's airman. about where you need Let's to be to get that goal. Your ratings for each phase of the jump are... Perfect! Silver. Okay. Perfect. I got silver through Gold. the... Gold! Your final rating is... Great! So I still got great. That's not bad. But I'm disappointed with my performance in the, the free full sections. So now we've got uh, checking over autonomous as well on the, the, the glove. And unless they're taking it out of my headset. Jump five, the man in the moon. Okay, so 20,000 foot jump, open parachute again, 4,000. This time, um, it's a night time jump, so we're going to have night okay, in this. let's do it! So this should be interesting, this should be interesting. So night vision goggles, um, I don't know if they'll have all the instrument in the night vision goggles. And we may have to use the, the wrist automata at some point rather than the the uh, on screen but my my only criticism so far is in the free fall JPEG going down three, two. this is guardian one one three minutes to jump spot roger guardian one one 
Okay, so a quick thing. Almost made it. This final training exercise simply put all of your training to the test in the dead of night, utilizing night vision and chem light to provide visibility. Check your okay. PKS for step by step direction, and let's see if we spot the man in the moon on the way down. Stay with me. Open the parachute at 4,000 feet, and you'll do great. Okay. Affirmative, Guardian 1 1. Jumpers. Night vision goggles and chem lights. Power on. I'm on. Roger, Guardian 1 1. Airmen to Chem lights station. must be on. So, Three. yeah, we're still keeping that. He's going to go back. No, he went forwards this time. Everyone's out. Hang tight and stay with me now. Silver, solid jump, Airman. Come on. Damn. I want this. I want that. I want it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Keep an eye on your altitude. I'm gonna slide that way. Whoa. Five thousand feet. Watch your altitude. Forty-five hundred feet. One. Get ready to deploy the ship. Ready. Oh, silver. Get a grip on those toggles, airman. Great job. Keep it tight. Good. Oh, that's the moon. That is cool. Where are you? I've lost visual. I'm behind you. He'll be complaining when I come straight in close to him on the landing. Hey, hey, that's his job. Just check out that. That's like the moon through night vision goggles when you're parachuting. And I got one of my squad mates up on the side here on the right. There's probably some more behind me. It's really cool. I mean, the night vision works really well in, in VR. I mean, this is kind of like what you'd expect night vision to be looking like. I do think they kind of mess up on the, the, the projection bit of how they've got that projected so far in front of your face, the HUD. Um, it doesn't move left and right with you, it only moves up and down. And that kind of seems weird to me. So we're going the further route this time. There's a really dark point down there. Okay, that's um, cleared up a bit. Why did it go really bright and then suddenly so dark? The moon's over on my right now. I think we were in pretty close. I did better on I did better on the free fall that time as well. Take a look around to locate the drop zone. I see it. 
You can see it? It's right there in the middle of my vision, so it's like uh, lit up with like uh, cam lights as well, I think. That or it's flares, I'm not sure. I would presume like either cam lights or flares. But we've got to be quite close to him because I know what happens if I'm not. You, you miss the, the target zone quite a lot. If you're not like good and close. I do want to be peeling off some speed Perfect. though. Top notch parachuters. That's all the gate. Pull both toggles together to break for landing and aim for the center of the drop zone. You're tailgating. Pull the toggles to break and fall back to a safe distance. Nah. I was worried more about the ground speed than the target point, and I, I don't know where the balance is. Let's see if you made the grade. Your ratings for each phase of the jump are silver, silver, silver? perfect, silver. Your final rating is good. I'm good. That's not bad. That's not bad. Good. So I do have improvements to make, but. For my first th time through, that's cool. Let's let's see what else. I'm just gonna see, give you a sort of like a, a see what else they go on to. But it gives you a, a the altitude rate of descent, but um, the hub gives you all of that. Congratulations, well. Airman! You've completed training. It's time to test your metal in combat. Okay, so. There's a combat setting. Now, um, I'm gonna do the combat bit and leave something else for you. So that's the training, and the training was good fun. Please select so, a jump plane. You know, that is cool. So we've got full on training, and we've got painted up, and we've got like daylight lit up, and then we've got the, the night light in there. So. That is pretty cool. It's a shame the body can't... It's, you know, if they did tracking on the body, that would be pretty cool. You know, helicopters going over. We've got the moon. Base out here in the middle of mountains. All this hardware around. So, this is for free if you've got a US account. That's always good value. Plus, like I say, it is aimed obviously at trying to recruit people, um, which is fine enough. So if you've got a mind to this, this is one of those things to kind of like say, hey, what do you think? As a, a little bit of fun, as a simulator of a, a Halo jump, that was good fun. And I can see where they haven't made it like too easy, which is good. And I definitely want to come back and try it again and again to get through to those bits. Um, so, if you have a US account, you don't lose anything by uh, downloading this. It's a good, good, uh, little fun game. Um, it does have that one, one issue where if you look down like this, it does a blackout type of thing, but. I don't know what that's to do with positioning and stuff. But for me, um, I think it's, it's good fun. Good fun. Um, go try it. Go try it. Yeah. Good. For now, if you want to see some of my previous videos, you can see one there. And if you want to subscribe, you can press the button down there. Or you can see the other video that's... There.